Today, guys, we're going to talk about scanning paperwork on Transpo Mobile Plus and also about how to attach a screenshot in case they send you an email receipt instead of handing you a paper receipt. Let's dive into it. Okay, to scan our paperwork, the first thing we want to do is we want to open up Transpo Mobile Plus on our phones. We press that and we're going to come to this screen here. Now we have documents that we need to scan physically right now, but we also have one that we need to scan from our camera roll, which is a screenshot, because sometimes the receivers will email you a receipt instead of giving you a physical copy. So we would have a screenshot of that receipt that we need to attach to a trip. Now in order to scan these documents, we want to press scan documents. And here's where we have our choices, add existing. This is how you would add that screenshot. Let's do that one first. So I'm going to press add existing and then it's going to come up so I can pick the images that I want to add. I press on the one I want to add and it pops up. Now you see those four blue dots on the corners of your paper. We want to make sure they're right on the corner of the paper. And you see how it zooms in there so you can really see where it's at. You want to get it right on the corner of the paper. That cuts out anything in the back. You don't want any of the background pages or anything from your dash or anything else in there. So you get your four blue dots right on the corners and then we're going to hit next. That's going to bring it to this page here where we can zoom in and make sure that we can read everything. If the picture is clear and everything is signed the way it needs to be signed. If it is, we press next and then we decide what this is. In this case here, I'm going to say this is a receipt. So I'm going to scroll down until I find the receipt that I want to look for. You notice we have a lot of different choices here, don't we? We want to make sure that we get the correct document type in here so it goes to where it's supposed to go to. Now I'm going to say this is a lumper receipt, so I'm going to press lumper. See how that's on there, guys? Now we want to add the rest of our documents. So I want to press use camera. And this screen will pop up. Now if you hold your phone flat above the document, it'll automatically snap the picture for you. Now as we can see, our four blue dots came back. We move those blue dots right to the corners of our paper, just like we did before. Once those are in there, we press next. Now we can zoom in. Now this is the important part, guys. Make sure that trip number, your truck number, your trailer number, your driver code are all on this page. This is your trip sheet. This is how you get paid. If we look over here, we see where we picked up, where we delivered, and notice I said that we paid $100 for a lumper fee, and we paid that with ComCheck. Now, if you have a lumper, you need to make sure you put that amount on there and how you paid for it. Otherwise, payroll doesn't know to look for that receipt, and you sure don't want to pay that lumper out of your paycheck, so make sure you write it down so payroll can find that and put it into the system and reimburse you for that lumper fee. Once you make sure you can read everything, press next. Now this is a trip sheet, so I want to scroll down until I find trip sheet and press that. Now this trip also had a bill of lading, so I would want to get my bill of lading out and I'm going to press use camera again right here. I'm going to hold this above just like that and it snaps the picture automatically same process as before guys bring those four blue dots to the corner of the paper now if you look at the way i'd move my dots there we don't want something like that having something like that our payroll department is going to ask us to come back and rescan that paperwork so let's make their job and our lives much easier from the beginning by cutting that out. Once the four blue dots are there, hit next. Make sure you can read it. 
If you can read everything, everything looks good. Press next. This is our bill of lading, so we're going to press bill of lading. Now we have what we need for this particular trip. So what we want to do is we want to press next. Now it's going to ask for our load number. That load number, guys, is that trip number you had written on your trip sheet, and it's also from your dispatch information. Make sure that number is correct. Type that in there. And I always make sure it matches. If it matches, I want to press next and then send all. This is going to give you a confirmation number. Now you have a couple options with this. You can write that confirmation number down on your trip sheet or you can do nothing with it because it also comes in an email. And if you press close right here, and you look at your main screen, right at the bottom of your screen you have an alarm bell and that'll tell you that load number 1234567, that's the trip that I just scanned, and the confirmation number is right there. So if your driver manager calls and asks, hey, did you scan this trip? You can say, sure did, here's your confirmation number, and they will be able to find it that way. As you see, it brings us right back to that screen. Now, something else you notice on this screen is it says view document. So if you press that, you can look at the documents that you scanned and see that you scanned everything that you were supposed to for this trip. Okay guys, if you have any questions about how to scan your paperwork or how to attach documents on Transflow Mobile Plus, reach out to your safety department and we'd be glad to walk through it with you. Thanks and stay safe.